Um, oh, did I? Uh oh, it never actually started. Sorry, internet. Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to a live stream on the internet. I uh, have been streaming for the last ten minutes, but it didn't start. And hello, but anyway, regardless of that, from a very very cold United Kingdom, a place so cold. Uh, that I apparently have forgotten uh, how to start a live stream. Doing it on this channel always works a bit different than I'm expecting. Anyway, I figured it'd be fun to do a bit of a live geography with Toy Cat here today. Maybe you'll enjoy it. But uh, while we're in the mood for that, why not start with something a bit more fun? And so here is the quiz. I just started it and I've been doing it for 10 minutes. But you know what? We'll start again from scratch. This is a... Uh, a really fun concept to me that I knew I had to do the moment I heard about it. It's called Huge Quiz, and the idea is you have a map of the world, and you know how, like, sometimes cities are shown as a big blob, you know, like the area around it? Can you cover the world with those blobs? The answer is going to be surprising, because honestly, looking at the, ma the world, you can see there's a lot of blue areas where there's no cities, kind of famously, uh, but there's also a problem of the world in that it kind of has a lot of places you don't know about. Can you name a major city in Kazakhstan? I think I can name two, actually. But can you name a major city in, say, uh, Botswana? Can you name a major city in, say, Papua New Guinea? Uh, the answer might just shock you. Um, by the way, I, uh, you know, can I name the major cities in Hawaii? Can I name a major city anywhere in this Atlantic region? The answer is I'm going to have to work it out. So we're going to be having some fun, and we're going to start from west to east. We're going to start in the Americas and work our way west today, or east today, because I... I, I, I want to make this as easy and fair as possible. And I also want to start with my worst knowledge. I feel like I don't know South America. I know a decent amount of North America. The US might be my, my best country here. But we're going to do our best on beginner mode. Let's go. So um, first we're going to start with Buenos Aires. Uh, that's nice and easy, right? Everyone knows of Buenos Aires. Um, and then we have to work our way down. There's a Cordoba, but I think it's like to the north. So it's not down. Oh, I got somewhere though. Cordoba is over there, and Chile has Santiago, uh, although I've got something else apparently. There's there's so many cities you'll accidentally get on this, and the goal is to complete as many countries as possible. So I've completed 15 right now, but if I type in just Luxembourg, for example, which is the capital, but also will probably cover all of Belgium, I've completed a bunch more countries, because as soon as you cover them in the cir uh, with a circle on this map, you win. Can I country cover all the countries? Well, that's a tricky one, isn't it? So down to the south of Argentina, there is a very big city, um... And I have no idea what it is. Is it Mendoza? It might be Mendoza. No, Mendoza is way over there, apparently. Um, and so instead, we're going to work with Brazil. Everyone knows Brasilia is in the center there. But there's also Sao Paulo. Um, man, man oops, I don't know how to spell Sao Paulo. But also Sao Paulo. Yeah, um, how is Luxembourg so big? It's the same size. Oh, I guess, so the blobs, by the way, are based on population size. So if I type in London, it will give me a huge blob. Although there's also a London in... Uh, the East Coast of the USS. But if I type in, for example, um, what's a fairly small city, uh, Tromso, uh, it will give me a smaller blob. It doesn't give me any blob. Tromso is not a city with 50,000 people. But Bergen, for example, is... You know, it's... Uh, the, the size of the blobs, I guess, is based on the number of people around it as well. Uh, which is very interesting. So, yeah, getting these places will be even harder if they're not on the coast and they're not in populated areas. But we'll try our best. So, um... Yeah, I believe Colombia has Bogota. Um, I've always wanted to go to Bogota. I, what, I can't type in Bogota. Okay, there we go. We got Bogota over there. And Peru has Lima. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lima is, by some definitions, the most populated city in uh, the Americas. So the smaller the place, the bigger the circle. That's fun. Yeah, do you, is it actually inversely correlated, do you think? Or do you think it's just the same size circle? No, that's... Okay, yeah, I think it must be inversely proportional. So we've got to know the tiny villages. So I'm going to try, for example, um, in Nevada. Um, I, I guess it's got to have at least 50k people. But we'll go Reno first and then Las Vegas. Las Vegas has way more people. They're similar size blobs to my mind. So I'll try Japan, where I, I know for sure. Uh, Tokyo is huge, of course. Whereas, I don't know, like... Uh, uh, Osaka is much smaller. So Osaka and then Tokyo. They look identical. Are they the same size blobs? How are they determining these blobs? I really would love to know. <laughs> I thought there was a logic and now it's entirely gone for me. So um, it's because of the map projection. Oh, do you think that's what it is? It says you go further north, the map projection. So I'll, tr I'll test that. Uh, the furthest north, si north city I know that will be on this list will be Anchorage, I think. 
And so that would be huge. Ah, yeah, it's projection based. Okay, so they're the same size circles. And that circle is based on the difficulty. So South Korea is complete, by the way. I have no idea how. Just from just from a sucker, we completed uh, that. So if we then go for Seoul. We can cover way more areas. Um, but let, let's let's see if we can get some. I guess we'll start with. Uh, let's we'll see if we can get one of these countries here. Guyana. All you need to know is Georgetown. Uh, God damn it! There's too many places called George. Georgetown. We'll get Georgetown there, but we probably also get a bunch of Georgetowns up here. And uh, so now it's just down to, can we name any internal places? I felt like Manaus. Manaus is a big, yeah, there we go. Look at that. We got a big one. I feel like Rio is a big one too. And I should know the capital of Paraguay, uh, but it, it is escaping me. But Bolivia also probably has a famous one too. But um, yeah, we got a really good so South America map given the knowledge we have so far. There's a lot of states that I don't know a single city from, which is kind of embarrassing. But then we've got Nicaragua. We can get all of this by just saying Guatemala City. Guatemala City. Boom. And then we're just missing Costa Rica. Costa Rica has a San Jose. Uh, fun fact. And there we go. Yeah. I forgot how much of the... Oh, God. There we go. I forgot how much of the Latin-speaking world just uses the exact same naming system. Really, really helps you out. And, um... So now we get, like, a big Floridian city, and that's the whole South of America covered. Yeah. We'll get Atlanta just to finish up this little blob here. And then we got Kansas City. Uh, it's a lovely city. And then we've got Montana has... God, Montana has a big city in there. But we'll go for Boise, Idaho, just to kind of move the blob further forward. There's Sioux Falls. Sioux... I can't do it. So I'll just go for Chicago. There we go. No, that's not useful. We'll go for Canadian cities, actually. The Canadian cities are the furthest north big things. So by getting all of those nice and early, we'll get a real big blob covered. So Calgary is big. Van Vancouver is a big deal. And we could, if we get like a nice far north settlement here, we could probably bridge the gap. So Juno. Don't know how to spell Juno. Juno. <laughs> is it just Juno? How do you. Juno. Okay. I don't know how to spell too many cities in the world. There's a valuable lesson here. Also, thank you, WDV's uh, channel, for the spell check there. Also, Bozeman was just there on Sunday. Oh, Bozeman is the is the city. Yeah, there we go. We're just missing a little bit over here, but that's fine. We'll get that. Uh, Ontario has Thunder Bay all the way to the west, and it has Toronto to the east. Uh, Quebec has Quebec City uh, all the way to its east. Quebec City, if you will. Um, and then, really, we've got, like, all of this. So we get, like, a St. John in there. I'm <laughs> having a bad time with this map. Um, and we get, like, St. John in there. Then we're doing pretty good well. Yeah, honestly, that's about as good as we can realistically get because there aren't enough cities in the north of Canada. Unless you're allowed to name smaller settlements, like Yellow... Yellow... Knife. That is a small set... Is it Yellow Space Knife? There is a Yellow Knife, I think. Is it, and then there's a something jacket, but I don't know it. Um, so we've got all of the US covered at least, and all of Mexico covered would be easy. We should go to type in Mexico uh, for Mexico City. And then uh, Cancun is going to not help me at all. Instead, I need this western bit. So there's Cabo San Lucas, I want to say it's called. Yeah, there we go. I, I, got, I got Mexico complete. 59 countries. And 13 minutes to go. So Europe is easy mode for this. Because Europe is small and also has lots of well-known cities. So uh, we'll just start with Rome. And then Kiev. And then, I don't know, like Sofia. And then, I don't know, like Mos Moscow. And Helsinki. And what do you know? I've got to 80 countries complete. Europe is always easy mode for countries. Norway is not quite done. We need a northern city. Um, Tromso didn't count for some weird reason. Bergen did count, uh, and so we just need a further north one than that. I I really, I, I think Murmansk would be a good one for it, actually. That's the big Russian city. There we go, yeah. And now we just completed Finland. Nice. 80 countries complete. So Kazakhstan, I've got to just shoot my shot here. I know Almaty. Um, there we go. And I know Astana. And those are my Kazakhstan cities. If I can't name a further east Russian city, I'm screwed here. So I'm going to go with Baku from Azerbaijan. That's really far east Azerbaijan. And that is almost... Okay, I got Uzbekistan. But getting Kazakhstan means knowing any city here. I think there's Or in Russia. No, that's in Sweden. Um, there is a big city here. Uh, like, somewhere east of Moscow. A big city. 
Um, also, Trondheim says uh, the only Capri Sun. Oh, I'm thinking of Trondheim. I think Trondheim, Trondheim might be the... Ah, okay. Well, that's useless, but we got it. Okay, so I got Astana and I got Almaty for Kazakhstan. I don't know any other Kazakh cities, but there are enough Russian cities that are famous enough. I'm not going to complete Russia, but I can use Russia to help with other countries. Like, I know Ulan Bunta. Man, I, I do not I do not know Ulan Bunta. Uh, it's the capital of Mongolia, but I Ula <laughs> I could not say it. Okay, um, yeah, I think that the knowing the cities here is really hard. I'll go for Eastern Ukraine even. Uh, Lviv uh, might be far enough east that it, it doesn't. It doesn't make a dent. Uh, so we'll go for Iran, I guess. Uh, Tehran, that's easy. And we'll go for Afghanistan's Kabul. Uh, Pakistan has Islamabad. And we, you know, I guess if we get Dubai, that finishes out this whole little area. We completed Bahrain. Wow, I forgot. Yeah, easy mode. Go where the tiny countries are and you get a real big one. Like, I can get all of Sri Lanka with Colombo. I also got two other countries <laughs> for the price of one there. Um, yeah, getting all of India is going to be hard. Getting all of China will be hard. Getting all of Russia, I think, is just impossible for me. We're going to admit that right now. So we'll work through Africa because Africa has a high city density for a lot of the countries. You know, there's a lot of countries close together. They all have a famous city. So there's Konga Kinshasa. Kinshasa. In Sasha, uh, there's a and there's a Congo. I don't know the other one, so we'll go for instead Cairo for Egypt. Nice big blob right there. Completed Cyprus with that. Uh, we'll go for Tripoli for Libya. We'll go for Algeria has Algiers. Oh yeah, getting getting the southern half of these countries is gonna be a tricky one. So if, if, if you're talking about big blobs, you've just got to focus on the, the countries that are small and have a big blob that covers them all. If you know the capital city of Burundi, you're done. So um, Kenya has Nairobi. Let's see how much of Kenya that covers. Oh, it covers all of Rwanda and Burundi too. Look at me. Five countries for the price of one city. Uh, love that. Tanzania has Tanganyika. No, don't know it. Uganda has a fairly well-known city. Uh, Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Eswatini. Yeah, I'll go for I'll go for a big South African city. Johannesburg. Is it Berg or Berg? Okay, there we go. I completed Swaziland. Nice. We're at half. We're over halfway on the countries, by the way. This is pretty cool. So yeah, this is um. Also, we've got seven thousand four hundred out of. 9,535 cities. That is wild. I guess that shows the area that we've started to complete. So just to just to try and get some big ones in nice and early. Auckland for New Zealand. Um, and then I guess we need like a Wellington as well. Is that New Zealand complete? Yes, it is. Um, for Australia, we'll go for Melbourne. And then we'll go for Sydney. And then we'll go for Perth. And then we'll go for uh, Hobart, Tasmania. And then we'll go for Darwin, Northern Territories. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll go for Adelaide for that little middle bit. And I just need some city to connect these blobs up, but I don't think it's happening. I know the Gold Coast. Gold Coast. And I know north of the Gold Coast, there's... It's the lesser known Australian city, I feel like. Also, um, for Indonesia, we I think we've got Jakarta already. If we don't have Jakarta already... There we go. Um, Papua New Guinea has Port Moresby. No, Port Moresby. Yeah, no, Port, Port Mores... It's not, there we go, Port, okay, I don't know why I did so wrong the first few times, but I got Papua New Guinea complete with that one. And I got a little bit of Australia too. I got this lovely city that it won't let me know, see here. I've now got just 2,000 cities left to go. I feel like I've been at 7599 for a while. So let's go for a big India-China rush right here. Like, let's get a ton of these out of the way. Mumbai, uh, New Delhi, um, there's Hong Kong, if that counts, that's a big one, right? Yeah, that's huge, that's so many, so many of the cities that are covered right here. Um, I don't, there's Chongqing, but I don't know how you'd spell it, um, so I'm not going to, I'm instead gonna go for Ho Chi Minh City, uh, that's not how you spell it. So we're gonna go for Saigon and just see if it gives it to me, oh, it does, <laughs> yeah. Uh, interest, interesting map. I'll take it. So that's the whole peninsula here covered. Laos just needs one more city. So if we can just say, like, uh, can, can, there's a, there's a big city I should know here. I know Ulaanbaatar, but I just can't spell it also. Also, um, 
I don't think our baby is looking at the chat, sadly, says Papa Jerky Strasner. You know, our baby is always looking at the chat. So, uh, Riyadh for Saudi Arabia is a nice, nice, easy one. Yemen has, uh, okay, I know a man has Muscat. They'll cover Yemen, hopefully. Muscat. It, oh, I've already got Muscat and everything around it, apparently. So I've only got a thousand cities left on the planet I haven't gone through. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back over to just type in Shanghai, man. You know, I'm pretty sure I've got Shanghai basically covered by these blobs. So I'm gonna instead go for, uh, what's a, what's a more niche city that I do know? Everyone knows a Wuhan. Yeah, 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 there we go. We don't need Shanghai anymore. If we, if we get, if we type in Shanghai, like it didn't, I don't think that covered any new cities. We got Japan complete though of that actually. Never mind. That was valuable. Um, on the east side of uh, Russia, you've got Vladivostok. Yeah, and that's useful, <laughs> maybe. Um, Bangladesh has... I want to call it Lahore. I don't know what I'm getting that mixed up with, but... Um, big Bangladesh city. It's the capital. Everyone has to go there. It's Biman? No, that's not... I don't know where Biman is. Um, capital of Bangladesh. When you go to Bangladesh... You go to, you know, I'll work it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in Goa for India. I don't think I've gotten there yet, but useful city. No, nope. Goa's a province apparently. Um, on the eastern side of India, so Nepal has uh, Kathmandu, right? Yeah, Kathmandu. There we go. Oh, I don't, I don't need, I don't need Dhaka anymore, but it comes to my brain anyway. And then we just got this tiny little, little section. So if I could name anywhere in North Sri Lanka, that'd get me covered too. East India, I guess even South India, honestly. So there's a big city here, uh, Hyder Hyderabad. Uh, Hyderabad is not in the south. I think it's actually to the east, but it'll, it'll get me covered. Yeah, India complete. That's that's something. India has a lot of cities. Maybe that makes it actually the easiest country to complete. So I think the uh, the Gambia's capital is probably just called Gambia. It's not okay. Well, that was that was a good guess. Um, <laughs> I, Nigeria's capital is well known. It is, uh, Lagos. No, it's not. But I got Equatorial Guinea complete anyway. Um, Gabon, Angola, Namibia. Um, it's called Windhoek in Nab Namibia. Hey, Namibia complete. Nice. Uh, Zimbabwe is called Harare. Um, wait, what did I just do? Harare. Yeah, Malawi complete. Okay. We, we're getting there. We're making some progress. Um, Dr. Congo, I don't know how to spell Kinshasa. You know, actually, chat, can you tell me how to spell Kinshasa? <laughs> it's the, it's one of the, there's Kinshasa, Congo, and I, I just can't do it. Kin, Kinshasa. Hey, Gabon complete. Entirely via another country. It's what I like to see. Um, but yeah, what a, what a weird thing otherwise. Also, thank you, DC, for the $10 tip. Oh my god, here for a Toy Cat livestream. Huge fan. Love your content and even your quirky capitalist shilling. <laughs> your videos are hilarious and informative, my friend, and I still laugh about your NATO slash Team Rocket bit. I'm glad you like it. Um, okay, you know, actually, chat, if you're here for my spelling anyway, can you tell me how to do Ulaanbaatar now? I should learn these cities. It's gonna, this will be useful. This is a reminder. I need to know how to spell places I know, or there's no point even knowing about them. Um, there's Fairbanks, Alaska, by the way, which is not big enough for this. Wow. Um, but yeah, Ulan Ban. Okay, U Ulan Ulan Bata. Yeah, is that Mongolia complete? Yes, it is. So we've now got four thirty countries left. 40, 41 countries left to be precise, and about five hundred cities. We probably could make a decent sweep if I. If I know the, a few big cities, so South Sudan has Jubilee. It's like called like Jibby, Jibby, Jubilee. <laughs> it's something like that. And Sudan has uh, a big city too. And so you've, just between those two will be really really good. Um, there is, uh, you know, actually, yeah, let's see if there's any like big countries that have accidentally like fallen by the wayside just for one of these circles not overlapping. Iceland's a big one for Reykjavik. Um, okay, Reykjavik. I don't know how to spell it. I'm gonna do my best here. Reykjavik. Okay, it's like, it's a lot more words. Reykjavik. It's Reykjavik. <laughs> um, no, I, I can't do it. Will it take Barrow, Alaska, or does it need the cities you name? I'll try Barrow. 
Oh yeah, I forgot that there's a new name for that city. I was wondering, I saw in a video recently, I was like, this is the northernmost city in Alaska. And I was like, oh, I thought it was something else. But it wasn't something else. So I'm just going to go for, get a few Irish cities in here. Maybe, is that going to increase the size of the bubbles? It does. Not adding any new cities or anything, but it's useful. If I go for like a really far south Portuguese one, I might get something new. If I go for like a Gibraltar. Do you think Gibraltar would count? It's not going to. So we'll go for Seville, Spain. Hey, got a got another city added via that one. Okay, so it's Ray. It's Rake. Okay, Ray. And then Akjavik. Yay, Iceland complete. Um, you can't get Greenland as best I can tell. They don't have a 50k city. Their capital, Nuuk, does not count. And if Nuuk doesn't count, then it's impossible. Um, so I'm guessing, though, it's not a country for the purposes of this. And Denmark is just over there. Um, we need we need a really good one over here. Also, White Horse and Yellowknife. I tried Yellowknife earlier. I was surprised to see it didn't work. White Horse is a good bet, though. Um, yeah, White Horse also doesn't work. I guess it, it, it kind of makes sense. Uh, and so... As far as South America goes, we're, we're missing, like, uh, Bolivia's capital and Paraguay, and that'd make a difference, but ultimately it's not that big of a thing. Um, Medicine Hat is a funny one. Um, okay, so Chad has a big, uh, you know, okay, Me we got La Paz and we got Montevideo. Uh, La Paz and Montevideo. Video. Yeah, there we go. So, we got Bolivia complete. We can't get Paraguay without Paramibo. That's the one, right? No, Paramibo is a different place altogether, right? I have scrolled. Okay, so I think Paramibo... I don't know how you even spell it, but that is that is a city somewhere in the world. So, uh, for China, we need eastern Ch Western China. What are the cities in uh, Tibet? There must be some. Also, thank you, Miss Pat Van Driver Lady. Second channel, don't care, but still care about your health. Buy yourself some safe water in high, high tea. No Carla for my toy cat. <laughs> I um I do have a fun plan. I I, I want to talk about a little bit in this video the kind of technicalities of visiting somewhere. I've got I've got a fun thing lined up there. So what's going on um in uh you know the the capital of Brunei? I guessed this earlier in the video that no one else see, saw. It's called Brunei City. Uh, it's not today though. Okay, nope, never mind. Oh, because the, the thing is over. We we are out of time. At some point it ran out, and now it can tell me. Uh, which cities I didn't miss. Oh, which, okay, no, that's it. That's that's GG. So apparently, um, be that was beginner mode. If you want to, you can play this on expert mode. And it'll be near impossible, because obviously... Um, but that's interesting as a concept, that you can do that. So, yeah, this is my best first attempt. It's not a bad first attempt, but it was clearly a first attempt. Now let's try this on expert mode. So this is meant to be impossible. It's not meant to be doable. It's meant to be embarrassing. How many countries can I do on the hardest difficulty? So I'll start just to show you this one. Luton, everyone's favorite city, is that big. To cover the entirety of the UK, the country I live in will be hard, let alone everyone else on the planet. So I'll start with a, a tricky country, actually. I'll start with, um, you know, where we were before, the La Paz of the world, the Monte video. And you can see that, yeah, there's 9,535 cities still, but covering them is no no easy feat. Uh, so we just we just write off all of South America, I think. There's we could maybe do Ecuador. Um, you know, that's that's entirely possible. But even like Colombia, by the time we get to a country that size, it's like, yeah, Bogota. We got a place called San. Okay, but I'm trying to type in Bogota. There we go. That's as big as we got. I also got San in southern Mexico there. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very challenging. So I'm going to start in the UK, and I'm going to work through familiarity. We have an hour, we have three hours to do this, by the way. So I <laughs> hope you're all strapped in. Hope you've got your appropriate drinking uh, goggles. But, yeah, we're going to start in the place we know best. Um, so Brussels should cover still a decent percentage of Belgium. Yeah, it does. I've got zero countries so far, but I, if I get Luxembourg... These countries are so small that even on expert mode, I just got an easy... Easy one done. We had Aachen from Germany. And that's still not Belgium complete yet. Oh, there's this tiny stretch there from Belgium. So I'll get that with Dover from the UK, hopefully. Dover doesn't count. Oh. We'll get that with Kent from the UK. Is Kent... What is... Where is Kent? Um, Kent is a county. Um, so Canterbury. Uh, Canterbury in the UK. 
We haven't quite reached over the divides. So we'll go over with Lil from France. And there we go. Belgium complete. I'm at two countries. We're going to take every country as a success here, okay? We're going to take them all as successes. Um, so for the UK, Norwich, that covers that whole bit. Cornwall is the... I, I, I'm, I'm getting this real messed up today. Exeter uh, is that big. I don't think you can go further west than that. I don't, I don't think you can do the UK... Um, there is Plymouth, which hopefully counts. And then, is Truro gonna be on there? It's not. So is, is the UK impossible? Or is there a further west city that is worth knowing about? Um, also, um, don't forget the Brest city in France. Oh, that's true. If we add France, no, there, they are nowhere close on this difficulty. Um, it's, it's a fun, I guess the idea is to get all the cities and you complete the country if you have all of its cities. So we'll, we'll cover the rest of the UK and see where that gets us. So Cardiff, um, Bristol. We're still going to have a little hole there. So if we add Brighton. Uh, we just need to have like, I don't know, like Southampton or Portsmouth is easier to spell. There we go. That's the whole of the south of England. That's the area I know best. Look how many blobs I got there. So then we'll start north and work down. Aberdeen. Uh, Inverness. Inverness doesn't count. Oh, we are truly beyond skewed, screwed, screwed here. Edinburgh. Um, basically didn't... Oh wait, uh, it, it made a new place, but it's not going to add anything, really. So, um, for the north of England, we've also got Newcastle. And we've got Leicester. And Birmingham. And Manchester. Manchester. And Liverpool. Oh, yeah, that might be every everywhere in Wales covered. So now there's this little blob here. We get it all with, like, a Middlesbrough or a York or something. Tiny little blob there, so we might need Nottingham. Just to... No. <laughs> okay. Grimsby? I hope it's not Grimsby. Okay, Grimsby has covered us for that little segment. So now we need to worry about this part here. South of Scotland, north of England. I don't think there are cities in that part, honestly. Also, London. Oh, London, that's a good one. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, that was an important one to get. Got got that nailed in. So, we'll start with the island of Ireland. Dublin. All of Northern Ireland, basically, you can get. Oh, United Kingdom complete. So, yeah, you complete a country, even when it's not truly blue, if you get all the cities. So, that's useful to know. Um, so, we did truly do pretty well last time if we got 9,000 out of 9,500 cities. Um, won't go as well this, this time, but still. So, Ireland will be easy. It's like Cork... And then go away. And then country complete? No, what's after the three cities? Uh, I didn't know there was more Ireland that had more than 50k. I, it might be the place in the north. It might be somewhere down to the south here. Shannon, just as a shot in the dark. It's not Shannon. Where is uh, Limerick? Oh, yeah, it's Limerick. It's 100% Limerick. Oh, there's still more. Wow, uh, kill Kenny. I, I'm, you know, proud, proud of Ireland. They've, they've, they've gone, uh, kill, kill Ernie. Uh, I, I went to kill Ernie recently. Uh, kill Kenny. I, I had the worst experience in, in a. I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to get Ireland even. There's a fifth city in Ireland. Um, I think over here there's Waterford. If that counts. Oh yeah, Ireland complete. It was Waterford. Oh wait, was it Waterford? I, I think that's Waterford. Does it does it actually say what cities you've gotten? Anyway, um, yeah, that was pretty wild, huh? So next up, we've got to do. We're gonna we'll start with small country Europe, like over here, Slovenia. We can get in one. Um, we might even get it with one from other countries. Nah, it's it's still it's a really really tiny map here. So Venice and Zagreb. Don't get me close. Vienna, man, Austria is gonna be hard. <laughs> okay, let's let's do Monaco. Let's let's get our easy wins in here. Monaco does not count as a city. Uh, Andorra. Oh, Andorra does have a real city. So we'll go for San Marino, San Marino. Oh, they're not 50k. That's why they don't count. So Vaduz. How are we going to get Liechtenstein? We have to find the biggest city that's within 100 kilometers of Liechtenstein. Ah. Yeah, that's... that's like, So we get Rome, we'll get the Vatican City, right? No, there's no Vatican City in this game. This, this game is taking a hard stance against the existence of a Vatican City. And you know what? Power to them. Power to them. So the Baltics might be doable if we go for um, Riga and Cal 
Cornaus. Can Cornus, I think it is. Uh, Cornus. Cornas. There we go. And then Tarlin. Everyone loves a Tarlin. I'd live in a Tarlin. Um, you've got Banger in North Wales, mate. Nah, mate. I got I got Banger in North Wales. I think you're fine. I think if if I were to like individually name it, it's shot. But it comes up because it's one of these other uh, ones here, as I understand it. So, um, yeah. If 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 the Baltics are this hard, um, what's inland in Latvia? Yeah. If, if Europe is this hard, I am screwed for certain other places. So we'll go with like uh, if I know Skopje. That's almost all of North Macedonia. So then we add Crete. That's an island. We add Athens. And oh man, I am I am truly now appreciating the screwedness I'm at. Um Yeah, this is this is okay, so we'll go France. I know France, I know French cities. Paris, Lyon, um Yeah, I know so many nice. Geneva, it's my favorite French city. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's Marseille, um, and there is there are other places you can go. Man, this this is this is hard. Okay, Germany. I think I can do German cities. So in Germany, I know there is Berlin. You might have heard of it. There's Hamburg. There's Munich, Frankfurt. There's Bremen, and uh, there's the other. There's a fifth big city I haven't gotten yet. It's like a it's like a pentagon. So Hamburg? I already got Hamburg. Hamburg, Frankfurt, Berlin, Munich. What's the fifth one? Cologne, I guess. Um there's also Bonn. It kinda counts. It only got me one. It got me no cities actually. It just made the the area slightly bigger. So getting all the in-between areas is now easy, because I know a Stuttgart, for example. I know Dortmund. I stayed overnight there once. Um It was my first ever hostel stay. It was I just didn't sleep. It was it was great. Um Hanover's in the center here. The uh, There's a fun tale about how the Hanover uh, region, like, they picked it for, like, this central German dialect, because Germans spoke basically incomprehensible to each other. Um, there's Dresden around there, right? By the border. Yeah, that's good. So if I get Czechia's capital, um, uh, Bratislava is Slovakia, but I'm just going to go for it while it's in my mind. So Prague, that counts for... You know, like some territory. I think I, I might be able to get Czechia done actually. So, Brno, uh, Ostrava, Ostrava. No, no, I'm not going to be able to at all. Okay, so, yeah. I got Kosovo though. Yeah, at some point earlier, I unlocked Kosovo without realizing. So, we'll do, we'll do the same. For Montenegro, if you can just name their one city, Kotor. It's not Kotor. I don't know where Kotor is. Uh, Serbia has Belgrade, obviously. Everyone loves a good Belgrade in their life. Yeah, getting getting these tiny countries is okay. You know, let's let's just take an easy. I I need the win right now, chat. I'm going for Singapore. I'm I'm gonna go for it. Singapore. Yeah, Singapore complete. I got a hundred percent of the country in with this one. <laughs> kind of crazy, really. Um, so Australia is physically impossible unless you can just say everything in there which I'm not going to be able to. Um, we'll see the Sri Lankan size of their blob. Not big enough, though. Uh, we got 25 cities, but that's that, that's nice. Uh, we could probably do the cities around here. Like, if you think about the size of Baku and the size of, like, no. No no chance. Okay. So we'll, we'll go for another small country. Like, Albania, if we know Tirana, we just need one other city. No, we need two other cities. So if I can name northern Greek cities... I'd be doing pretty well for myself, too. Um, Switzerland, I can do that. Okay. Bern for Switzerland. Zurich for Switzerland. Um, I just need southern Switzerland. I'm covered. So, Milan. Milan. And then Turin. Switzerland complete, by the way. I did it. I got the last big Swiss city. So, that's seven countries complete here. And this is... This is... I'm fighting uphill, I do. Yeah, but do is my uh, instinct to try and get Liechtenstein too, but it's not big enough apparently. So Austro, we might be able to get by the same logic of just there aren't many cities, and so all we have to do is get all of them. Like uh, I think Innsbruck might be the last big one. Um, I, if there are other Austrian cities, I do not know where they are. Over here in the Tyrol region, maybe. So if I get Slovenia's. Uh, it's Ljubljana. 
I it's one of those I couldn't spell it like lube Liana um lube Lubliana 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 I if, if we could get it okay it's L J there we go um so I got Slovenia complete which is nice but there's still a bit of Austria over here. What is in this bit of Austria that's so important, huh? I, I work with um, Germany. Germany has a lot of cities. I can't get them all, clearly. But if I could do it, I'd be in for a good spot, I think. I do believe. So, um, Vienna. Oh, that's a good That's a good Austrian city. Love a good Vienna. So I'll go for Budapest, I think. In case it, in, like, I'm, I'm going to try every neighboring country just on the off chance that it helps me here. Um, it's not going to. Moldova? No, it's also impossible. We, we need small countries. Um, if we... Is Barcelona close enough to Andorra to just get it? Barcelona? No, it's so close. <laughs> we we, we want to get all these countries by attrition. By just accidentally getting the one next door to them, like we did with Liechtenstein. So, um, yeah, I guess we could probably get, like... If you, if you know these islands and they're one city... You're good. Like, Barbados has... Or, the only one I know is Dominican, and they've got two larger cities. So what? what is the big place in St. Lucia? It's called, like, Happy Bay or something. Um, so in Granada... Okay, Barbados, it has Georgetown. Uh, is, it can't be Georgetown. Georgetown's enough. Okay, let's, let's try Georgetown. George... George... Town. It's not Barbados' capital, but I got Guyana. Chat, I got I got Guyana. I got that one city. <laughs> Proud of myself. I'm at nine countries right now. A thousand cities. This at this level of granularity is something. So I'll just start naming the cities I know just uh in case it helps out. Um Like I'll just I'll just add them all around the map. Um Like they'll they'll do something for me. If we got Lisbon. We got all of all, all the Portugal that I know. Apparently, I, I fought Pharaoh, but it doesn't count. And if Pharaoh doesn't count, what is gonna count? I guess north of Lisbon, there's something. Also, Bridgetown. Ah, it's Bridgetown. Thank you. Oh, Georgetown, Bridgetown. I mean, George might have built some bridges. We don't know. We don't know what he was up to. So Barbados is now 100% covered, as well as everything around it. So knowing any of these places and their capitals, you're in for a good time. So. I do know, um, for airport reasons, Antigua and Bar Barbudas, uh, their capital is something real silly. Um, okay, it's, uh, I think the flights just say Antigua. I think they, so maybe that means the city is just Antigua. Nope, the island's Antigua. We're, we're screwed. So, St. Kitts and the Nevis has a fun flag. I like it. Um, I... We're gonna, we're gonna move back to we're gonna move over to China, and it, yeah, let's go to India actually because last time we kind of just covered them. Let's see how little we can cover them today. So Mumbai, Hyderabad. Oh, there's two Hyderabads. <laughs> Confusing. Um, New Delhi. Everyone loves a Delhi. Um, and then oh yeah, oh god, god am I screwed in that. Um, so we'll come over to we'll come over to uh, Georgia because I know that Georgia's capital is well the old capital is Kutasi 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 Nope I don't know I don't know Georgia's old capital but their current one is um, you know I, Yerevan Yere, Yerevan is uh, is Armenia's almost got, oh I mean you complete yay okay. Small countries. That is the secret. If we go to Israel, I know they're two big cities. Tel Aviv, Palestine, Palestine complete. Big, big political statement there. Uh, map. Uh, then Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. I didn't realize I was illiterate till I played this game. Uh, and then there's Eilat to the south, but it might not be big enough to. Oh, it is. So there are more cities in Israel over here or up here somewhere. Uh, Lebanon. Has uh, Beirut. That's Lebanon complete. Yeah. Love it. Um, Tbilisi is the uh, capital of Georgia. Okay. Tbilisi. Tbilisi. Thank you. Oh, no, no. That's Tbilisi is not good. Tbilisi. 
Tip Tbilisi. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Tib Tbilisi. Tbilisi. Tib Tbilisi. You know what? We know we know it. We we've got it in spirit. T T B I L I S I. Tbilisi. So that's not Georgia complete, because there is Kutasi still. Um Nicosia for Cyprus. Yeah, if, if you get I think just Nicosia will do Cyprus, right? Um single handedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cyprus complete. That's okay, so we'll do the same for Malta. Um Malta is um it's called Valletta, if you get it. Oh, it, how is Malta measuring its population? Is if Valletta doesn't count for Malta, Malta has nothing. But Valletta should count. Oh, it doesn't count because Malta has a big enough population, but it's spread amongst too many places. So it doesn't count. So just to really double check, there's no way. That's that's a bummer for Maltese people. Suck, sucks to be a Malteser. Um, so instead we'll go up to Denmark. Yeah, I feel like I could do Norway. Like, between Oslo, Stavanger, Bergen, Trondheim. That's the furthest north one. Um, there is Tromso, also up to the north, but it doesn't count on this game. So we just need the big city here, like Hell. It's not called Hell. There's um, there's a big city they hosted the Lillehammer. Um, there's a city they hosted the Olympics in, kind of central between all of those. And then also like Christian Sand over here. Christian Sand. And uh, there's no way you can, says Raphio Pranks. It's the, it's the most important joke. Also, does Reykjavik count? Oh yeah, I bet I can just do Reykjavik in one. You're right. We, we're going to win this by technicality this time. Iceland complete. Um, Tromso, not Tromso. Ah, you don't, don't, don't be, we all know it's, it's one thing. So, um, we'll go for Stockholm and we'll go for Copenhagen and Malmo and, oh, they're all, we just got three overlapping circles right there. We achieved precisely nothing. So yeah, what is the big city here? Um, is Alessand 50k? I've never heard of Alessand. Oh, that, okay, that, that was over 50k. Apparently. Um, but yeah, Legoland, that's, that's a good one. Uppsala. Yeah, there's Uppsala up here. And then there's like a couple of cities. And then there's maybe one down here. Sweden's a real interesting country in that way. So Poland, we'll just go for it. Just to have some blobs on the map, right? So just like you, I, I just want to get some nice blobs that are far apart. So we get a lot of these cities covered. Like Ukraine has Kiev, has Lviv. Uh, Crimea has Sevastopol. I wonder if Sevastopol has a lot of people living there. Apparently it does. Useful to know. Um, Moldova has Chisinau. I would never be able to spell that. Um, and Romania has Bucharest, which I've got. Um, there's also Sofia for Bulga Bulgaria. There's Varna on the other side of Bulgaria. And then in the middle, there's other stuff that I could not say. There's Istanbul for Turkey. Uh, we'll also go for the big middle one for Turkey. It starts with K. Maybe it doesn't start with K. They do Helsinki already. Yeah, I haven't done any of Finland yet, actually. If we just, if we add Helsinki, we get like a good 10 cities. We got four cities, yeah. <laughs> Slowly upping this count, making it work how it needs to. Um, but yeah, I, um, I I tried KOTOR for um, Montenegro already, uh, Almog, by the way. But Podgorica and Tivat are the big ones. So Tivat is the big beach in Montenegro. Also doesn't count. So it is going to be just Podgorica. And then that's the whole country. Yeah, there are two cities in Montenegro that meet the criteria. I said earlier, it's crazy that just the capital is the whole thing. But uh, yeah, KOTOR is too small. I feel like KOTOR's... You know, okay, let's just... Let's just um, let's just quickly take a second. Let's, let's take a, um, let's, let's check the population of KOTOR. The population of KOTOR is, okay, no, that's fair, okay. I don't know how I know it then. Why do I know this random town of 13,000 people? I want to go, look out, look how nice KOTOR is. I'm, like, look, look at that, they've got a duck. Do you have a duck? I bet you don't have any ducks. Um, where, where do you live? Do you have nice flags outside? Do you have, do you have one of these? I want to. I want to go to Kotor. Look, oh, there's a cruise port. Maybe, maybe it's like one of those populations that's big because it's an old city, but like boats come in, so it's like it, it grows in population, but it's not permanent in some way. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I I'll get out of here now. I, I think um, the Netherlands is a really easy one to get, by the way. Like, I feel like Amsterdam covers so much of the country, and then you just need like um, 
I know a big city in the weird part of the country. Um, I know. If, if, I, I, okay, let's get this little blob here. If I get Antwerp for Belgium, I'll finish that off nice and easy. So for the Netherlands to the east, I, I know Eindhoven. It's only just it's just going to close off this loop here, which is important. So one big city over here gets it, and I know I know. Um, there's a I have a I have a friend who lives there. Um, I someone someone the it's in the weird part of the Netherlands where they speak the weird language. Um, what's the name of the big city out there? There's there's got to be like one big city out in the Netherlands. Um, but I don't know it, so I can't get the Netherlands. It's a it's an easy slam dunk, but I can't do the slamming. Um, so instead, we'll go for Germany. I feel like um, you know, like if you count like Mannheim separately. Oh, this isn't useful at all. We need we need really central Germany. What is in the center of Germany? There there must be towns there. Uh, so I know Augsburg. Augsburg. There we go. Not very useful. <laughs> it got me plus zero, in fact. Literally, already had it. I just made my circles bigger. So we'll go down Italy. We've got Florence. That's nice. Uh, pizza. That's nice. And... Ooh, Bari. Yeah, that's... See, I'm, I'm getting cities. They're just not... They're not going to get me any uh, countries complete. Frankfurt. Yeah, I, I was thinking, like, try to, like cheat out the east there, but we, we just need some big cities here and there and up there. Um, to the south of Denmark, there's Arborg. Arborg. <laughs> Aarhus. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, like, one more good one, like, Alberg. Alberg. I think one more big city in Denmark and we're good. Like, I guess, actually, there's these tiny towns, though. So Denmark has, even though it's got a fairly low population, has a lot of towns in a way you wouldn't expect. Whereas Ireland is the opposite. It's got not that dissimilar a population, but very, very, very centralized. Um, man, yeah, this is uh, this is a really crazy one. Lübeck in northern Germany. Ah, oh, Lübeck. Yeah, that's what... I don't know if it's big enough to count. I'm sure it is. Okay, one, one that's that counts for something. Um, there's a big, like, Soviet destination over here. Uh, we'll go for Berlin, but the other Berlin. Um, I don't know it actually. Although there's a Frankfurt on der Oder over here, but I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go it just for, just for technicalities. Um, so I'm gonna try more tiny countries. Look around the map, see the tiny countries, get the easy win. If we know, for example, uh, so last time when we typed in Nairobi, we got um, we got all of these five countries. This time we have proof we have no chance. But Rwanda has a capital. And if a blob that sized, if it was centrally located, we still wouldn't get it. So it's not it's not worth going for. Unless I can name big actually, unless there is one big city. Um so we'll go for Mombasa. Uh that's the uh, port city in Kenya. I don't know it. Uh if we you know, no, it's it's not happening. I, I think getting any big African country. Is you know this this is my own my own fault, but it's it's not going to be doable. If I knew Guinea Bissau's capital, that'd be pretty handy. This is an interesting thing where, yeah, no matter how much you know about Brazil, you can't cover it in blobs. But now comes the fun bit. Okay, so before we leave this challenge, can I do the United States of America? I think I could probably do Canada just by again like, uh, if you go for attrition, um, if you get oh no okay I can't do Canada look. Look at this. You, you're going to have to get really weird sized cities. Like, there's a place called Peterborough in Canada that might just... Be, it just hits the threshold. If you, there's, there's too many cities of that size in Canada that are too far apart. So we'll call Canada a lost cause right now. I'll use it, I'll, I'll use it just to get across the border, though. Like, Vancouver will help me get uh, slightly over. Vancouver will help me get slightly over the border. Let's see if I can do the United States of America. It seems... To be impossible, but I'm gonna try. Uh, United States mode, expert. So I'm gonna start on the eastern eastern corridor here. Um, it's a good place to start. So everyone knows New York. Maybe you didn't. Now you do. Um, little known place. Uh, great holiday destination. Uh, tiny tiny resort by the beach. Um, okay, so we got New Jersey has. I think we just get Philadelphia. Philadelphia. We'll, we'll get a surprising amount of it. Then for upstate New York, you need like Buffalo, you need Rochester, and you see all these places are just by themselves. 
Syracuse. Uh, Vermont has Burlington. I bet Burlington doesn't count. Oh, yeah, there's other Burlingtons that count. But not Burlington, Vermont. So Manchester, New Hampshire probably counts. Nope, it doesn't. Uh, Portland, Maine hopefully counts. Yeah, it does. I also probably got Portland on the other side of the country. Um, in between these places, there's a big state capital, but I think we've already got it. Uh, so we're going to move down here. There is uh, Eugene, Oregon. There's Bend, Oregon. There's Tahoe City. I'm I'm going there soon, by the way. I you know one of the things I wanna I wanna do in this stream. Also, are, are you gonna just do the U.S. as a Amitab dicks it? I really want to get the U.S. done. It's the hard mode version of this, right? It's a country that is so broad, but it's the one that I think I might have a shot at doing. Um, Chicago, um, and then so up to from Chicago is Milwaukee, Milwaukee, and then there's a Madison to the left of that. Yeah, there we go. So, we got Detroit somehow, by accident, but we, we've got Detroit again now. Ohio has three big cities. Columbus. Columbus. Uh, oh, there's multiple Columbuses. There's Dayton, Ohio. There's Cleveland, Ohio. And there's one other big one. It's not Dayton. There's always three, and I never get it. Um, there's Gary, Indiana. Yeah, getting these tiny little concentric circles. There's Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. Did I get it? I spell it. I did something. Pittsburgh, Pens Okay, so look look at that isolation, by the way. Your, your nearest town of more than 50,000 people is all the way across the state border. Um, in the middle of Pennsylvania, I know Scranton. Um, I had friend. I, I had a, I had an internet friend who got married and decided to live there. And I, and and then when they when they told me about it, they're like, "Yep, the one from the office." That's our thing. Look at this. I, I made fun of this isolation, but look at this isolation. You're near the biggest metrop metropolis. Metropolis. Metropolis? That's the one. You're near the biggest metropolis on the continent, really. And it's like, yeah, I could go 100 kilometers and not see anyone else. Um, I mean, you'd see villages, obviously. Um, so we'll go for the... I guess Florida's a nice, easy one, right? Miami. Um, Orlando. Big blob in between to get there. Uh, Tallahassee, that's a place I know. Tallahassee, I do not know. Um, there's Sarasota. Yeah, and then there's... Tampa, I want to say. There we go, yeah, look, we, we're getting there. If I can't do Florida, I probably can't do the whole country. But we are, we are make, we're making some real good progress here. There's so many cities in the US, like, you know, we can... No, okay, let's keep working inland from the coast. So, I'm going to do San Diego. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to do uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, I'll try I'll try Burbank separately just to see if it works. It does. Okay, so look at Los Angeles, by the way. Because it's all separately like administered, it counts as this many places. Very, very, very bizarre. Um, inland, uh, there's Bakersfield. And there's... <laughs> uh, there's a lot of places I hear. There's, I got San Jose already, right? Okay, we got San Jose definitely now. Once you go, like, south of San Jose, it gets a little bit trickier. But we'll go for Sacramento. Um, that's the state capital. It's a good blob to have. Uh, the state line in Nevada, not big enough. So we'll go for Reno in Nevada. And then that kind of bridges the gap there. So if we do the same with Las Vegas, it helps us get into California a little bit. Um, there's three cities, by the way, here. North Las Vegas, Las Vegas, and Boulder City. Or, I guess, probably not. Oh, it tells you when you hover over them. It tells you the population. So, yeah, this is going to be Las Vegas or Paradise. This is going to be North Las Vegas. This is Boulder. Very interesting. Um, Palm Springs, lol. I think Palm Springs is basically LA. So, if we type it in, it's just one of these. Oh, it doesn't count by itself. That's interesting that it doesn't count. So, there's Fresno, California in the middle, too. And then there's probably a few other, like, weird middle California ones. Yeah, there's, there's these small towns everywhere I've got to be able to get. So, north of California... There's a lot of people who must live here, and they probably have very strong opinions on things, I bet. Um, so Arizona has Phoenix. I think that's a fun name for a, for a city. Uh, there's Tuxman. Oh, thank you. Wow, how did that happen? IBX2 cat stream. IBX2 cat stream. Whoa. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> or Chris H, I believe. I, I'm glad you come along for the stream. I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, caught me off guard. So yeah, there's... Um, 
Outside, yeah, we got like, okay, so people are saying Reading. Um, oh, there is, yeah, I knew there was a city there. Look at this, too. You live in the state that is known for having the highest population, and you just, you just, you don't, you don't really. So, we'll go for the, the tiny, tiny ones across the city here. So, Bozeman, Montana. Bozeman, Montana counted last time, but not this time. Wyoming has, honestly, we, on a state-by-state -state level, this could be real fun. Do you think this, there is a version of this that's just the, uh, the US? I think there is. Do you think if we're going to do this, we've got to, I, I bet it'll give me like a state-by-state -state breakdown. So we'll go for North America. Let's see if we can't. I can do 100 largest US islands. Man, there are some weird quizzes on this place. Canada, all places. Atlanta, all US places. All US states by rotated outline. Or 25 states by... You know, I need to do it. Chat, do you think I can name the states with their outlines rotated? Start. Let's go. That's... <laughs> oh, that's, that's uh, Alabama, right? Wait, yeah, ow. Last points, 80. Okay, I got it right. So this is Michigan. This, oh, my, no one knows these. Pens, no, this is, oh, what, what? It's straight, but it's got a curvy north or a curvy south. What state? New Mexico, maybe? Because it's, is it on the coast? No, it's not New Mexico. Um, hello, your geography knowledge is brilliant. Have you got a degree in that black flag subject, says Jack Watson? Oh, no, I missed it. Okay, so Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania. I guess it's PA is what you have to type. It's not Pens. Oh, it's Iowa. IA. This is Tennessee. This is... Uh, Louisiana. What is it? Uh... I would go Alabama again. Okay, I'm just gonna rotate it. Oh, it's New Hampshire, maybe. No, is it Vermont? Yeah, it was Vermont. This one is Maryland, uh, MD. I have to know these, okay, this is Delaware. This is Florida. Uh, oh, it has a, uh, Wyoming? No, it has a cut cut taken out of it. It's Utah. This is, oh, um, Mississippi? Louise, where, what, whoa, whoa, this is, this is a weird one. I, I, I could not tell you this state. I know it's in the bottom right somewhere. Um, and it's not Alabama. I'm just gonna, I would just keep guessing Alabama over and over again, apparently. Um, yep, I, do you, so is there a max time, time's up. Okay, so this one is New Jersey. This is, this is Pennsylvania? No, this is... <laughs> this looks like a Canadian province or something. Thank you, IBX Two Cat Tax from Michigan. I'm glad I got your state. Okay, I can't do this one. I'm trying my best, but I just cannot. So that that's that's confusing as a concept to me. Where Indiana? Is that Indiana? What Indiana doesn't have a weird corner like that. This one is uh, Montana. This is Delaware again. No, it's tiny though, so it's gotta be. It's yeah, it's not big. It's gonna be like uh, Connecticut. No, Rhode Island. What's what's so tiny out there? Oh, maybe it's not tiny. Maybe it's yeah, it's Kentucky. Um. Uh, Mississippi. Yeah, that eastern border means it's gotta be like. I don't know. I I is this is this uh Georgia? It was Georgia. Maryland again? No, New Hampshire. So Vermont. It has a little cut taken out of it, but then it's tall on the top. So maybe I'm looking at this from the wrong angle. It's Idaho. Okay. Um, square, but with a jagged... Why are there so many states that are basically squares? What? What's... Why did you do that? What's the... What's the scoop? <laughs> also, um... I, uh... I'm from PA. I... Did you... Could you recognize your state when it was rotated immediately? Uh, Oregano. Oh, that's a good one. Um, so this is Massachusetts. This is Ohio. It's one of those, right? Milwaukee and Wisconsin. It's it's like in that area. It's like barely west. Um, what state is this? Illinois. It was Illinois. Uh, this is Maine. That's Maine. There's no way that's not Maine. What state is it? Otherwise, oh, it's one. Of, this is. Ooh. It's it's borders a river on the west. So Mississippi. Who 
no, no one knows this state. This isn't a real state. They're making up states because they need to make the challenge harder. Everyone's saying Mo. Missouri, you reckon? I'll try it. Ah, uh, it was Missouri. Also, I had a little bit too much vodka yesterday, so today is suffering. I feel like a little too much vodka is the uh, is the Russian way. What was the occasion, Dasha? Uh, she's from Russia. That's the joke I'm making, by the way. Um, California. <laughs> uh, this this is I don't know Nebraska. Where is this? Where in the country? It's like a square with a little cut taken out of it. I I I don't. I've never seen this place in my life. I've, I'm gonna lose my time because I don't know it. I, no, there is no, you cannot convince me there's a state like this. I do not believe, okay, lost state, we've got seven seconds. Um, this is Rhode Island. This is, come on, just real quick, just out of the nowhere, and Mississippi. Oh, so I got one set, I, what, what's the relevancy of that point system? Oh, so you can get a lot of points. There's a leaderboard here. Okay, I, I feel like I need to do like a leaderboard one and get, I, I, I'm I a competitive person. Got to beat a leaderboard at some point, right? So, Europe countries by outline. I bet I could do that real fast. Although, apparently, 17,000 people do too. The trick is, you've got to find a, a quiz that no one else cares about. And then you got to do that. Europe, top 10 largest cities by country. Europe, 100 cities locator. Uh, man, there's a lot of these, huh? Okay, so let's... Let's see if I can do European cities by outline. Um, 25 European countries by outline. Can I do it? And can I do it fast? That's the question. Let's go. Okay. Oh, God, I can't. That looks like Argentina to me. I can't do it. Yeah, wait. That, that's not a place. Not a real country. You know, I'll start again. I clearly, I clearly miss, miss, okay, so. That's Austria. Yeah, that is the Vatican. You can tell from the fact that it's got castle-shaped walls. That's the Netherlands. Uh, that's Iceland. That's Finland. That's Denmark. That's Russia. Wow, look at the size of that. Um, that's Pol Belarus, maybe? Uh, Cyprus looks like the flag. Uh, oh, where is this place? I've never seen this place in my life. Um, Le Le Liechtenstein. I, where, where, where is this? Also, I did have a wonderful time, says Dasha. You know, that's most of what matters. Liechten, Liechten, Liechtenstein. I know, Luxembourg? No, it's too wide. Um, last country, Cyprus. Okay, so this is Moldova. This is, it could be Latvia, but it might be Lithuania. No, it's Latvia. This is a big blob, Kosovo? No, uh, North Macedonia? Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> Belgium? Luxembourg? Oh, what, what is, what is this one? Um, you don't know what Liechtenstein is? No, no one knows what Liechtenstein is. It's a big mystery to us all. Andorra? That's not Andorra. Oh, it was Andorra. Wow. Congratulations, people. You know, you, you know your shapes of your micro countries. Um, so that, it, that could be Belgium. If Belgium shaped that way, I feel bad for them. Um, that's Serbia, I think, actually. Uh, that's Hungary, therefore. That's Lithuania. You can tell by the little pokey outfit on the left. So that is Estonia, maybe? No, that's going to be... Oh, these aren't, these aren't rotated. Oh, I've got to stop rotating my head each time. Um, Estonia is not, is wide, not tall. Yeah, I thought, I thought this was rotated Estonia. So what's a tall country? There aren't many of those. Um, I'll go for Luxembourg. Just as a guess. That's Ireland. Man, Ireland is so recognizable to me. That's Belgium. Okay, that's recognizable. That's recognizable as Malta. That is Estonia then. No, um, country that shape, that size, it's got to be like Montenegro. Montenegro. Where is that? Um, Slovenia? No, where is it? It's, uh, yeah, I, I don't know it one. Okay, so 
That was the end of the quiz. I got two seven nine eight, and the leaderboard is okay. That that you take a, you need a lot of points to be on the top of this. So like I said, the trick is just so I can be on the top of a leaderboard somewhere. You find a quiz that has been done by as few people as possible. There's so many of these, by the way. We'll scroll all the way down uh, to United Kingdom. UK and Ireland City Grid Challenge. Don't know what that means, but only 300 people have tried. Choose a number of cities by typing 3, 5, 10. Then enter the largest number of cities with 1k population in each 1 degree grid. Oh, that's I, I do not understand what that means, but that's that's wild. Um, UK's largest one-syllable cities. What what a wild list of places this is. So anyway, um, this has been a lot of fun. But so I wanted to do something, internet. I, I, I mentioned before, the reason I started this channel is kind of because I like goofing off while looking up, look, looking at Google Maps, right? It's the it's the whole whole inspiration behind basically everything here. And so one of the things that I like to do whenever I'm going somewhere, and I'm about to go for the first time, uh, one of those places. Um, it was uh, it was always like uh, mentioned and like recommended to me before my uh, uh, before my mother passed. One of the the things, uh, one of the places that she thought would be like very very fun to go. I don't know what piece of media she'd heard it from. Uh, was Lake Tahoe. And so it was a, uh, uh, it, it's a weird, it's a weird thing to organize because I was, I was already going to be on the east coast of the U.S. anyway, so I'm going all the way across the continent, and uh, yeah, it's going to be real exciting going to, going over here. But it's also one of those places that's really interesting to look at on a map because if you look at like any generic city, like you know, let's zoom in on even Reno. It's a, it's not a big city, but you look at it, you can kind of get a vibe that like there's a big orbital highway going around the outside. I don't know why it does this interesting thing here, like what. Why don't they just demolish the houses and go through them? Oh, it's a it's a curve. It's probably probably warranted in some way. Also, is this a bike lane on that major highway? Oh, that's that's fun. It's concerning. Ha ha! You not know chat? I um. What happened to Haiti? Don't worry. There's uh. I, I guess rather I should say if I make it back from Haiti safely, um, I'll be in the east coast of the U.S. Don't don't worry. But um, yeah. I um, I don't don't you, you, uh, I. But the the point is. By the way, you're not. Do you want to? Does everyone want to see Haiti? IBX two cat, check your super chats. Um, thank you very much, by the way, for the hundred. Um, I think rupees. Uh, would love to see more India centric content. Love the second channel. Don't care content anyway. I'm glad you do, Amitab. Yeah, I um, I hope you liked the India video. Um, if you haven't watched it already, would recommend. Um, it is one of those places that's so big that it makes it hard to like break down and truly understand. Like when you go to Haiti, when you go to, or, when you go to the country, it's like, well, there's the city, and then there's a few weird things around here. There's some other interesting little tidbits, like, you know, there's LaCroix out over here. Must be nice to live there. That's where they, that's where they bottle the stuff, probably, right? But, um, nature looked beautiful. Was this in Oregon? Yeah, let me, um, so anyway, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is northern Nevada, so it's not that far away. Um, if you look at, if you look on the map, it is, uh, it, th these are the places that, like, just to me, like, yeah, like, this is cool. Look at this. Even a random railway stop. It's like, this is nice. Um, but, yeah, if you go, if we go over to this place. This is, I believe, a, um, it's, like, the big place people go in California, at least, to go skiing. And I, I, and it's just, it's kind of cool to me. Like, I love this type of, I don't know, like, tall redwood-style trees. There's just something about it. The vibe's kind of cool, in my opinion. Um, I, a lot of people dream of going somewhere where it's really sunny all of the time. But my personal dream is like the 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 vibes of somewhere sunny, but without it being painfully hot all the time. And it looks like you get that here. Like look, look at this. This is this is pretty. Also, there's an ambulance in front of me. Should we follow the ambulance and make sure he, make sure he makes it home fine? You know, it, it's only reasonable that we do that, right? Go to the redwoods in Cali. I you know maybe I should speed limit forty miles per hour. You know I hope I hope I I think my car is slowly gaining on the uh, on the ambulance here. But I guess they're stopping for the. For the lights earlier than we are, so that's that's fine. Just go over a little bit of a drive. We'll find the nearest hospital if we do this, right? Oh, I guess unless the the car doesn't follow the ambulance, like maybe the ambulance takes a right and then we don't. That's the weird thing, cause you'd feel like, oh yeah, if I'm if I'm if I'm following the ambulance here, eventually you'd figure you'd be able to follow it the whole way. But the weird thing about this, or something there, just oh no no no, ambulance is gone. Come back, ambulance. I miss you. Where are you, ambulance? There you are. Okay. So, <laughs> in Houston, it's sunny most of the time and it sucks. 
Yeah, people think like, oh yeah, I hate when it's cold, therefore I would love it when it's sunny. I, I think you spend too many days in the sun and you start to regret your life decisions. Hello there, Mr. Toy Cat. I really enjoy uh, this content because it teaches me about the world and makes me feel like I'm being productive on social media for once. There is a lot to be learned about the world, to be truthful with you. Um, and you can get some of it by goofing off, which is one of the things I always liked about Google Maps and why it kind of started into a channel. It's like, yeah, just kind of absentmindedly, you will pick up some stuff, right? Also, this this ambulance has gone some some distance. We're, we're about to pass a Ross Dress for Less. Do you think he's going in there? There's a Domino's. You can buy CBD. Best price is guaranteed. Oh, October 2022 at least. You know, let's let's see if the ambulance is still there if we go back in time. If we go back to 2007, I'd like to point out the ambulance and the CBD are both not there, but the Domino's is. Uh, the Domino's goes away for a bit. Oh, that's a twist. And then you go forwards and you can see it comes back. That is so... Okay, so Domino's was there in 2007. They sold their restaurant to Pronto Pizza. And then they, the, the Pronto Pizza changed its logo. And then there's a Domino's there now. That is fascinating, right? Uh, keep following the ambulance to see what was the emergency. <laughs> okay, let's come back to the present. Let's see if it changed again, actually. You know, it probably stays a Domino's the entire time. But as we come back to the present, I can't help but be curious. Yeah, see, I there's tiny tidbits of information like that that someone has some fascinating story about. But you just don't know about it because it's in it's in a city on the other side of the planet, right? Okay, so I'm gonna follow the ambulance. We need we need to make sure ambulance chasing should be illegal, says so Tilao. <laughs> they didn't like paying those franchise bucks, then it didn't pay out. Dominoes can't be con created or destroyed, only transformed, says Naito. <laughs> also, that's the domino effect. <laughs> good good puns, everyone. High quality. I uh I do believe that was the first domino to fall, and that's when the corporate really got uh, serious about it, but. This place looks cool, but it's too hot and too many Americans, says Phil Philadelphia Fleck. I, I think in general, um, the, the I, I think one of the things a lot of people find jarring about Americans uh, is the fact that it's a culture that is very driven by uh, status in the form of money, generally speaking. Like you're... M m like, uh, and, and in a way, that is the most honest society. Every other society has, like, money and status kind of being two separately, two, two entirely separate rules. You have to earn one, then you have to work your way and earn the other. Whereas in a system where it's like, do the things that someone values, you, values enough to pay you, then you're also doing the things that make people respect you. Ideally, if you can complete the two things, it's great. But at least all, all sorts of weird things like, yeah, people will be nice to you so that you give them money. Which means they're being nice to you, but you might it, that like can that can make you feel real bad at the end. Also, ooh, look at the size of this blob. So yeah, the the ambulance is getting away from us, chat. I I'm trying to follow the ambulance as fast as I can, but I've got I've got some bad news. It's it it might just get away. It might. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never followed a vehicle for this long, but I'm, I'm committed, right? At this point, I can't, I can't follow an ambulance halfway. I have to follow it all the way till it gets where it's going. Um, honestly, why is, why is an ambulance even driving this far? Honestly, there he is, he's back. Oh, he's in the turn lane. Okay, chat. It's a pivotal moment. The ambulance is turning left. I don't think we're turning left. Let's, let's, let's go see what the ambulance driver's up to. He's got, he's got someone in there. The ambulance has turned left, but we can't see him anymore. So we'll go forwards a bit more. And he's gone. Oh no, the ambulance is still there, never mind. So there's the ambulance driver, paramedic M1. And we'll never see him ever again. If I if I try to turn left, the ambulance driver just isn't there anymore. It's it's brutal, it's sad, but it is the cold reality of life. Um So, yeah, what is up there? Do you wanna like I guess we could find out that on this day and or in this month. At some point, there was an emergency. But if there's no paramedic thing up here, we could probably assume that he was going, he was picking up a patient or something. But clearly not in an emergency. Someone was like, oh yeah, I hurt. But if it takes you an hour to get here, that's cool. And then, they, oh, hospital. Ah, see, look at that over on the right here. Uh, this will be useful to know if I'm if I'm going to a place. Should know where the hospital is. I've now done the drive. So I'm, I'm very familiar. Um... But yeah, I, um, America's not a country, it's a business. Bold to assume we respect each other. I, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a real thing though, right? Also, Am Amit says, uh, have you been to Mumbai? Have a scroll through the maps, I think you'll find it fascinating. 
Yeah, it is, it's, it's interesting to look at the biggest city in a country um, and compare it from place to place. So here is Toronto. Uh, here's what it looks like. Um, like, it's a bunch of buildings, fairly tall ones, with streets in between them, etc, etc. It's well gridded because it's a new city. You compare that to the same one in Belgium, and you get Brussels. Brussels looks like this. It's a, it's a similar enough thing, but the grid is much more loosely formed. Uh, there's lots of little fun things here and there. The buildings are shorter, and it, it, it's just a different vibe. People would say this is historic, if you were to compare this. Um, but then we go and we see the same thing in, say, uh, you know, I, I, even if you get to, like, um, Afghanistan, or you go, you, uh, you, let's, let's use Mumbai, you know, I'll, I'll look at your city right now. Uh, you, you, you've piqued my interest. But you go to Mumbai, and it's like, yeah, that same thing is just insanity now. There are, there are these, like, informal sediments everywhere, and like, ooh, <laughs> all right, you, you don't even know what's happening entirely at some points. Um, look at this. There is there street view through this? There is. So this is, oh man, this this is something. There are people who go to work every day and then arrive back here and it's like, well, it's a city center apartment. Uh, and the truth is it works, right? That's the weird thing about all these different systems is they all do work. They achieve what people are wanting to achieve individually even though the collective outcome looks worse to an outsider. Anyway, to come back to what I was saying, I, um... If you ever get a sick, just follow an ambulance and Google Maps and you'll get better. We love European infrastructure. But yeah, it's, it, it is really interesting to compare, like, um... You, you know, let me, let me show you one of my favorite cities in the world, Las Vegas. I've spent so much time just randomly zooming around Vegas. You always find something odd to do. Like, I... While just looking around on Google Maps, I found this recently. Um... I, I, it's one of the things I want to do most. Uh, so it's, um, I can't find it right now. So clearly not that important. But there's, um, way out by the border. Uh, maybe by Prim. Not that, not that far. Extreme Razor Tour. You just find some random things that people have pinned to the map. Like the Mint Spectator area. Okay, that's a off-roading thing. But I found something called Digger World. And it's like, yeah, we got a bunch of construction equipment. You can destroy some stuff if you want. And you just pay us a few hundred dollars. It's like, that's cool that you can do that. But yeah, it's also cool to me that there's just the extreme valley of nothing in every direction. And then at some point, oh yeah, the city just begins. It's that thing I was mentioning, like, every city has this same layout of a big arterial highway of some form. Sometimes development keeps going past it. Like, uh, I think the, the big example of that would be like Houston or something in Texas. They've got like the inner ringway around the city. Then they've got the ringway around the city around the city. Then they've got the ringway around the city, around the city. And then they've got the ringway around the city, around the city, around the city. And then obviously there's the state highway system, which goes all the way around that. The the, the rings kind of tell you where people are at and, you know, need to go around to get to somewhere. Absolutely interesting, in my opinion. Um, and uh, if you look at LA, it's like, it, it kind of tells you that instead of having one big central downtown, there's a little bit of that. But then there's some stuff happening around Long Beach and clearly something happening uh, around these other places that means that people need to get from... Long Beach to there or there to there. Like, the, the shape of the roads tells you the priorities of the people to some extent. But it's interesting when you go to smaller towns. Also, thank you, Tom Shropshby. 18th birthday today. Can finally start paying my toy cat taxes. Thank you, Tom Shropshby. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And uh, most importantly, I, I want to say also Toy Town holding it down, uh, says DC. Oh, do you want to see something fun, by the way? So I, I didn't set up my stream correctly today. So, well, actually, I'll just, uh, oh, no, that's that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, hello, internet. Uh, there we go. I'll just move this up there. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Did exactly what I wanted to do there. Julian CA is a nice little town. So one of the places uh, Nita mentioned in the Mexico video, if you watched it, from the A to Z of Geography, was Tijuana. And this is another great example of, like, this isn't even, like, a time-based thing, right? This is a policy thing. This is San Diego. Look at that grid city. They very early on locked down. That's what they wanted to do. And so it goes really surprisingly far out. It's only when you get to like the rich neighborhoods that want to be dead end streets that you get weird things like this. Honestly, what this is a very weird design for a street. But the idea is if you design a street as an end like this, no one ever goes past your house to go anywhere but to your house or your neighbor's houses. And so like... It means it's not very busy where you live. It's it's something people like living by. But uh, there's a grid city with just some weird curves. Look at Tijuana, and it's like, well, there's a grid, technically speaking. Um, but then you, you look at it by comparison. It's like, yeah, 
It looks like a different place. I love that. <laughs> I've never seen this before. They have a the 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 median in the middle of the road. The 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 divider between the lanes is physically raised up, and they did that recently since 2017. Oh, it's for a bus stop, I think. Oh, it's a way to guarantee that you won't go into the bus stop. Oh, it's not, it's not the middle of the road. It's the it's a bus stop divider. That's actually pretty cool then. Is the bus stop raised up as well? Oh, it is. I think. Okay, so the bus stop is raised up. So that way it's got like level boarding. That's really interesting, actually. Um, see, that's that's a, that's an interesting example of something that looks weird on the surface, but has like a good reason once you dive into it. I um, you know, look looking a little closer, you can see, you can you can live here. You can live literally with views of the United States. Yeah, <laughs> I guess not very good views of the United States. Yeah, you know, okay, these these probably aren't desirable views. But yeah, look, you can you can be driving down the road and then climb over a wall and you're in the US. I have to imagine. Okay, let's go to 3D view. I really, really, really want to know um, like what the actual border protection thing looks like there. Is it that there's multiple walls? Are they really permanently monitored? If you like climbed over one, climbed over another, how would that go? I've just, Smuggler's Gulch is a really interesting name for a hiking trail. If I went to Smuggler's Gulch, what, would it go badly for? You know, I've, I've got I've got lots of silly questions. That's so curious. I've never seen the bus divider thing. Yeah, I feel like uh, Mexico is really good in general about like um, like infrastructure things that you don't see elsewhere, for good or worse, honestly. Also, thank you again. 18th birthday today. Can finally start paying my Toyota taxes. I don't know if that's the same tip playing twice or if Tom Strosby is that much of a uh, of a killer two cat watcher. But thank you so much. I'm glad you're liking it. There's some patrols usually. They're actually demolishing them at the moment. So this is OXO. This is the Mexican version of 7-Eleven. It's two for twenty-eight dollars, so very expensive. Although it's actually pesos. I believe I believe Mexico invented the dollar sign. They can have that one. This is something interesting too. Look at this. So either this is two different sides of the street with an island between them, or it's there's like a local street on the left here that you can park on, and maybe there's a main street there, or is this a bus stop again? I think it's a, just another bus stop actually. Yeah, interesting. So to get around Tijuana, there's a lot of these bus stop style things. And then I guess sometimes if people are like, you know, taking the piss a bit, they'll maybe uh, put the thing in. It's um, it's really fascinating to me how differently the world can be designed. So this is a one-way street. So if this is a one-way street and there's no sign saying no entry that way. You know, if, yeah, yeah. So if this is all one way, therefore, this is a turning lane, I'm guessing? that they put on the other side of a bus stop. But you can't turn here. You just go through, okay. Yeah, there's no left turns allowed here. That's interesting. There's a little taco stand on the street. Looks like an exciting place to explore. Um, I, uh, but yeah, if you go out further, you can see the same thing breaks down like a little bit quicker. So the grids start to like mesh with each other kind of funny. And the, the suburbs are even designed entirely differently. So if we go out to here, I'm guessing this is a wealthy suburb, but let's, let's we can't peek around it. There's there's something stopping us. Oh, it's a gated community. See, I told you it was wealthy. It's so wealthy, they have a man that lets you in and out. Uh, and you have to do so in 2020. I, that's how I read that sign. It doesn't actually look very wealthy. This looks kind of beaten down. Government tried to implement an uh, as effective public transportation system, but it makes taxi drivers angry. Oh, is there anything that doesn't make taxi drivers angry? Um, there's a... There's a thing in, uh, you know, we're not going to talk about making taxi drivers angry. Taxi drivers are the easiest angered people. I guess because they use the roads the most. It's like their infrastructure, effectively. Uh, they feel betrayed when you take away their infrastructure. I, I get it. Like, you, everyone feels it a bit if you use the roads, but you probably feel it a lot more. So this is a roundabout here, but it's a roundabout. Oh, I'm going I'm the wrong way in the roundabout. Okay. So it's a roundabout with lights and presumably also... It's a roundabout with lights that tell you when you can leave the roundabout. Ah, that's that's very intriguing. This is this is a fun fun little system we got set up here. This looks like a casino, but I'm sure it's just some LED screens at the real inn. They got a Starbucks and a Hertz, everything you need. Yeah, I um I think a lot of people uh, sleep on uh, Mexico City, especially as being like a really interesting North American city. That's like it's it's crazy. This is on the same continent as you. If you live in you know one of the cities we've been looking at before. It's cool. It's got European style architecture, in my opinion. It's got a real pretty area. L look at this. Are we in Spain right now? Are we in Brussels again? No, we're in Mexico City. Um, I bet they, and they got some weird fun things here to stop you 
going down here unless you're a goods vehicle. They got a church. They got they got people wearing masks. Lots of masks apparently. They got a van with Takis in. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, city. The, the the size of this thing too. Like you can go all the way up here, and it's still looking like a city. I bet. Yep, still looking like still looking like the center of a city somewhere. Why did it blur out one of the faces but not the second one? Yeah, it's one of the weird things about uh, Google Maps's blur is it's meant to blur out like so much personal identifying information. I think it'd probably be better if they just didn't, on some level. But maybe there's down. I I you know like it's one of those situations where you know why they have to do it. It's because you know if they, if there was a Google car every year, it'd be able to show all sorts of weird things. Huh? This really does look very Europeanish. Whereas, for example, you can do the opposite. If I want to show you, um, what one of the places uh, I'm I'm upsettingly fond of uh, in the UK is this. So look at this city right here. Do you see the grid layout? Uh, if you if you if, if I show you the middle of this, am I am I in the UK right now or am I, am I in the United States? What what looks more European? The city I was just in, or or this place? I feel like here, there's something about the UK, just the color palette immediately tells you you're here. Like, I can show you our most American city and it's still not going to show it off. Um, maybe if I show you a better part of it, like over here. Okay, we'll go out to the suburb area. Yeah, there's just, I mean, that man, I, I just, I, I feel like you're out here and it just, there's, there's too many green things. That's, that's the secret. I'll, okay, I'll show you TGI Fridays. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what will convince you, right? You'll see a TGI Fridays. Um, yeah, look at this. Am I, where am I right now? Okay, it looks too British. Looks, the whole point's gonna wave there. Considering Mexico was conquered for 300 years by Spain, it would make sense. Um, but yeah, so, uh, it's also interesting that you can see the difference in that style, just like east to west of the US. Like, I, I think Boston looks so ridiculously European. Um, I, I, you know, let's, let's go into a random street for a second. Uh, you're over here, right? And it's like, yeah. It's, if it's not European, it's at least like a very different style. It's very brick heavy and all, all the things that people love back from Europe. Maybe I'll go around Christopher Columbus Park. Okay, this looks very American actually. You know what? Whole point's gone. Lost it. Let's, let's go back to, to looking around stuff. OMG, I love Milton Keynes and now I join. Looks like the skate game. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to, uh, one of the things I do to like look for inspiration sometimes is I'll genuinely be like, well, if I'm going to be here, I'll look in the general area around there. And I'll see what's going on. What's in Myers? Is Myers just a place people live? Or is there a reason to be here? It looks like it's the first one. <laughs> and then I'll be like, okay, what about Tahoe City? Is that a place? Is, is there something interesting here? It looks like something interesting. They're just doing random Google Maps peaks will reveal so many things that you'll never otherwise see. There's a dam here you can go over. Do you think there's beavers there? I want to see beavers. Is there, there going to be beavers over here? Um... Or like you know, if I'm if I'm going to Reno's airport, um, you know what's what's the area just outside Reno Airport? There's a big Costco. There's a Silk Road International Market. Can buy all my drugs and guns. Uh, there's an REI. That, you know, it's it's interesting to me. Actually, you know, let's let's see what Reno looks like downtown. I, I really wanted to spend some time there. It didn't work out in my favor, but uh, ah yeah, very interesting. Ooh, so we got we got the Antique Angel Wedding Chapel. And we got a nice bridge. Honestly, it looks like a pretty city. Just gotta spend some time here. Can you stream one day where you just drive on Google Maps across Europe or the USA? I did this for uh, Hong Kong once, actually. It's, um, like, just to show you. I'll show you a drive I've done in my real life. Just to compare, like, the time and all that should be knowing it. So let's let's go for a quick drive around London, shall we? Uh, not too close to my home. I, I don't know I know what the home point is on Google, but I've got to be careful. So, um... A, a drive I've done a few times is this one on the A1. So the A1 go... This is the A1, I think. Right? Yeah, that's the A1. Um, this this road connects up to, like, some major stuff up there. And so from about here, you start, like... You, you're driving on, like, major, I guess, highways or something. Actually, can I show you that? that? That might be interesting to people if you live outside the UK. I think it's cool. So you're driving on, like, a fairly major road. Um... Yeah, okay, let me show you what it looks like. It's a, it's a genuine motorway that just kind of fades out. And then all of a sudden, like, look, look at this. And then I'm going to show you this road. It's about 20 minutes in real life. Let's show you what it looks like on Google. So I'm going to... I'm going to cross back over the divider. Okay, well, let me cross over the divider. Okay, there we go. We're going, we're going around. I'm, I'm breaking traffic laws, but no one can stop me. 
I visited Mumbai last year. I walked the streets of Ballard Estate and around CST train station, and it feels like you're in a European city. Ah, uh, you know what? You're, t you're tempting me now. But it's weird. I think you, like, if this could be done smoother, if the, like, transitions between each of these were better, it'd be nice. But you spend a lot of your time with the stuff just kind of gone. I think the better way to do it might be, like, go up ahead, wait a few seconds, look around, go up ahead. Because if you, if, you, if you reach ahead far enough, you can, and you can kind of see a way through a place. But it's not as good as a real road trip. You know, I there needs to be a video game that uses Google Maps as street view to, like, approximate the real world. You can, like, drive through it, maybe. But, uh, yeah, you, you, anyway, my point with my, my thing was to say, you're driving on this major motorway, and then it starts to become, like, the streets of a town. Like, look at this. Like, it looks like you're driving through a small town now. And then you just drive slightly further down the road. And before you even know it, you're... you're the, the same road of all the people with no one turning off or anything like that. Uh, the exact same road just becomes like, oh yeah, now you are, oh, okay, we're about to, <sighs> what is this? I have no idea how I've ended up in someone else's alternative Google Maps. But then you end up like, you're like, oh, yeah, it's it's gone. The the, the road is, is all, all, all missing. And then it's just like you're driving in like some really busy part of London. It's crazy to me how that happens. Dude, 20 minutes in real life is going to take an hour on Google Maps. Yeah, that's kind of my point. Like someone said I should drive from coast to coast. And I love the idea, but, um... Yeah, most of the motorways genuinely scare me, says Tom Tempo. Um, I don't want to make this stream all about cars. I, I think it's a, it is a form of transport, and as someone who likes going places, transport is cool. But um, to change your mind about motorways, um, let me. I, I would say motorways are the safest form of fast driving, and there's a lot of fast driving you don't even think about doing. So the reason a motorway is so safe is because it's just a bunch of lanes. They're really, really wide. Like, look at the size of this car over here. Wait, can I get in front of him? Okay, look at the size of that car there. He's going very fast compared to the Google car. And then look at the size of the lane that he's in. This is a wide, this is an SUV that we're looking at. The car goes from like all the way here. So it's got like a solid like, you know, fifth of the car length there. And then it's got another giant gap here. So if you're scared about motorways, um, like bear in mind each car, like you could probably fit two cars in a lane. And so a free lane, you can definitely fit like five cars. Like it, there is space for you to maneuver and go fast at. But then also if you break down, there's this whole thing here. And then also cars won't randomly come on the road because you can't come from the opposite side. There's these big double metal barriers. And the only ways on and off the road are with these weird slip roads that go like this. You have to come on and off a highway safely and at the speed of traffic. Whereas um, by comparison... If you just go to a random high speed road, which you'll be going on all the time and not being scared of because you're not thinking of fast roads. But maybe this is a reminder to be terrified of fast roads. But if we go to, um, if you go to the A1, it's one of the scariest examples of this. You'd just be driving down the road uh, and it'll be like, oh yeah, but these people need to get across your road. And so, okay, here's, here's an example, I think. If you're just driving down the road, it's, it's looking real safe. Everyone's fine. You think, oh yeah, this isn't a fast road though because it's not a motorway. And then before you know it, okay, I've, I picked a bad example. Um, okay, over here maybe. No, not over here. Over, before you know it, you'll come up on like, you'll be you're going, going 60 miles per hour, you come up on a roundabout you're not expecting. Person behind you might rear-end you, etc., etc. You might go fly. So often people go flying over roundabouts. It's a funny thing. It's a, it's, it's a whole thing. Anyway, if you, if you have fears about motorways, just have fears about everything else too, and you'll be fine. Um, <laughs> that is the lesson. Anyway, so I see that as wasted real estate. They should definitely build some stuff there. Also, so I got a tip that was, um, check out the Ballard Estate and walk around the CST train station. Okay, you know what? CST train station, let's do it. CST railway station in Mumbai. Is this the one? Yeah, this is probably it. So it looks like a European city. Let's, oh, yeah, I see that actually. It's really bright here. I want to switch camera. Like, it looks, it feels like when you've got too much fog in your eyes. I don't know. Like, I, th this is like a uniquely contact lens thing, I feel like, maybe. But like, do you ever have to like rub your eyes like this? I don't, I don't like this. This is like my nightmare, looking around this way. Let's, let's see if we can get a better Google Maps car <laughs> somewhere else nearby. Okay, let's, let's go here. Okay, wow, okay, no, this, this doesn't feel like Europe. I'm gonna, gonna be honest with you here, friend. It does not feel like Europe. Maybe around here. Uh, we'll get back to that European feeling you're talking about. No, you have you have not been to the same Europe that I have been to, friend. I th this is this looks unique. I'd love to go here. Like it it looks like I really should be going to Mumbai, but also 
definitely, definitely going to take a step back on that Europe comment. Um, a giant parking lot would fit so great in that green stuff. <laughs> There's always space for more car parking spaces. Um, so we can go to this army area right here. And we could... Uh, US Club Fine Dine Cafe Lounge Western Restaurant. Oh. Let's see what's on the menu. It's a private club reserved for armed forces and limited membership for other guesses. Very interesting. So now let's let's just find the furthest south point that we can look into. I guess that's the whole army area. So we'll just uh, come over here. Maybe. See what's happening. Yeah, honestly, compared to the rest of India, it does feel a bit more European. Like, this is... This is, uh, it's, it's very interesting to me. Whereas if we compare this to, say, pick a random point in Pune, India, um, I'm sure it will be very different. Random point. Oh, no, okay, this is very similar. This, 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 this seems more like Southeast Asia, actually. This gives me, like, Thailand vibes, interestingly enough. Two cat is love, two cat is life, two cat is yes. Good to see you, David. Ch David, where, where about in the world does this look like? If it wasn't India... Are we in Hong Kong or Greece? I, you know, I, I really, like, I could believe this is Hong Kong, yeah. This, this could be Bangkok, this is, it's very interesting. Like, yeah, I want to, I want to try out their McDonald's now. Look at that, buy one, get one free. Men and women's, oh, that's, okay, that's, that's something else. The McDonald's, though, still looking pretty good, if you ask me. Um, got some, some tuk-tuks here. Gotta be the UK, mate. <laughs> uh, you got it right. I mean, we're driving on the left-hand side of the road. We got these these fun little vehicles, um, I believe. Okay, there we go. This this is very interesting. What a, what a great experience. UK twenty fifty. Ooh, controversial comment. I'm gonna see if India looks wildly different from north to south. So we'll go for New Delhi. This is the most. This is like a planned, you know, Indian city. So I'm curious as to what it looks like. Like if they planned it, you'd hope they planned it well. Like if in a planned city, you have lots of downsides, but usually you can't say, oh, what did I just do? Here I am. I ah, oh, there's a dog. Is he alive? He's probably alive. Um. Oh no, no! Look at the man. I don't think the dog's doing well. The man wouldn't be looking like that if he was a if it, if that dog was alive. We would not have a man looking at him like that. That's that's. You know, maybe the man is sad because he's alive. Maybe maybe he's been coming by hoping that dog will die, and he's like, another day. Another alive dog. <laughs> that man looks so sad, says Lisa Powers. I've never, I've never seen a man so disappointed in a dog's well-being. I've just, I'm, I've never seen anything that tragic before. But anyway, we, if we look around, maybe somewhere a bit more uh, useful. Here is New Delhi. So they've got very, very wide roads. So again, it, it's they, they got what they planned for there. They've got some insane highway interchanges. It looks like too. But let's let's just go into. I have no idea where you'd even find like this. Like you know, without vibe. Okay, okay, so this must be the center, the president's estate. So around this area, old Delhi. There we go. So we're gonna go to old Delhi, the non-planned bit of New Delhi, and we're gonna see what that looks like by comparison. Oh, oh, it's wow, very thin alleyway. I don't know why someone would would upload this to the internet. They thought it was good enough, I guess. They had someone on their back while they were doing it, but they had a good time. And that's what matters. Anyway, uh, it's been a great stream today. Oh, wait. Thank you, David Solovano. Dog fund. <laughs> you know, we, 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 can, we can make that man... We can make that man's dream come be true. Or we can take the dog and save him from that man. Whichever way you want to believe it, chat. Um, the man is sad because the dog doesn't have armor on. <laughs> He's vulnerable to explosions and all other sorts of realistic death source. What are, what are these? Are these taxis, do you think? Oh, man. This is... Oh yeah, they are. They're like tuk-tuks, but for for pedals. This is so interesting. The comparison between old Delhi and you know a bit of new Delhi, I it makes sense, but also it's still interesting to me. Yeah, so differently designed. Look at this roundabout, by the way. Very ugly. Anyway, speaking of things that are ugly, I um, you know actually let, let me let me go to a random part of Bangkok and tell tell me if it looks like uh India internet. So um. We'll go, we'll go into a random little street. This one here. Um, actually, okay, no, this looks... There's a slightly different vibe. This, it's Something about the electricity is what does it for me. Like, to me, this is the most crazy thing that this is just accepted as the standard. It's done in, like, Japan, too. It's not like a... It's not a middle-income country thing. It's like a... 
Also, did you see a cat there? I think I saw a cat. Where did, did I see a cat? You know, I can't I can't just let the cat go. No, that's not a cat, that's a that's a sewer cover. Should we go looking for dogs? You know, there's not been stopping me from it doing it, right? How many Toy Cat or Two Cat subscribers are visible in Street View, I wonder? Oh, I have a fun thing about this actually. I um I remember the street. I wrote it down. I was in Houston when the, a, a Google Street car came past and I waved it in. I was like, I was on this intersection and this intersection. Um, but it never updated to include me. Maybe they just didn't use that guy's footage. Maybe maybe they decided not to use it for that just one street. But yeah, it was disappointing. Uh, oh, there's a McDonald's here too. Wow. That's a very fancy looking McDonald's too. Should we just go looking around the world for McDonald's? That sounds like a good idea to me. Um, I, um, I don't think that's the lens. The air in those cities is just really dirty. It can't be that dirty. Also, just for future reference, it's Chong Quing. So Chong with a G, Quing. If I get that next time this quiz comes up, which by the way, I think it's still running. No, it's not. The next time it comes up, I'm going to be ready for this. I've been here the whole time, says Cat Beanie. Good to see you. Um, I appreciate your, uh, it, it, it is a, uh, uh, it's it's a slightly chiller stream. I like it. It's a uh, it's a fun thing happening on the second channel. I'm interested by how close the viewers are here, despite the fact that there is a very different subscriber base and uh, industry. Maybe it was like something else, like an autopilot training car. Yeah, it's not impossible. It was a autopilot car. You're right. They they don't have like the Google thing on the side. Also, yeah, do you want to see Street View in China? You can't because it's not how it works. It's interesting that some people do upload- Wow! Honestly... It's interesting to me how- how pretty some parts of China really do look. I... You know, I-, I as someone who is a big- as a... Disinterest in central planning and all that noise. Uh, I- I like it when people make decisions for themselves. I also think it's interesting what you can achieve if you're willing to just use your force to like, will something into the world. So a lot of the times it goes poorly, but sometimes you make some real pretty places. Yeah, I uh, I, I heard a recommendation from a friend, by the way. Um, apparently, if you go to China, you've got to try the pizza. I, I, has anyone heard that before? Is that a is was someone trolling me? Uh, was someone trolling someone in in the world? I I, I would love to know. Uh, so this is Dalian. For comparison, oh yeah, this is it's kind of cool to me, like. Countries that are really big, you get this thing where you're in the same country, but now it looks like Japan, or you're in the same country and it looks like Hong Kong. And it makes sense that when you get a country this big, that's going to happen. But I bet if we go, like, to the furthest north one of these in China, in Hulimbe, like, this looks like such a different place. It is crazy it can be ruled by one person. That there, there is ruled by the same person as the people here. I don't know what I'm going to find here. <sighs> You could have at least up just 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 You know they they did their best. <laughs> oh, it's got oh god. This is this is so messy. This is such a terrible view um, You know, I can't can't fault them though. I remember someone telling me that China has bad pizza uh, Glad chat cleared up about the pizza. They have bad pizza. They have good pizza. Korean pizza is amazing. They have all right pizza <laughs> You know, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that's all sorted. Um I, um, do, 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 Okay, so, uh, that is painful. The rush of China border is insane to me. It's ridiculously long and odd. I mean, actually, the rush of China border, I guess, yeah, honestly, it is interesting. If you were to start from scratch today with just a map of the world with no people on, and you were trying to divide Russia and China's sphere of influence, you probably wouldn't draw the border like this. Like, this is one of the oddest parts. Of, like, you know, this Russia-China border just just exists, whatever. There's, there's buffer states in between. But this is this is such an odd space. I guess there's a there's a, there's a river that makes it very easy to exist. You know, actually, it's that's as simple as that. It, it's a very oddly shaped river. Do you think there's any people here? Oh, I think there are. Yeah, maybe, right? This This implies agriculture. Humans do things in big straight lines. Oh, there's a whole village here. That has got to be an odd place to live. Being told, if you cross that river, if you cross the, you know, water of this village, if you go across the, the river, 
you are making a big crime and you will you will you will be in trouble and your family might be in trouble too that's such an interesting place to live it's so in the middle of nowhere you've got one road connecting you to china um you can see by the way the offset that china's google maps has where their, their road says it's over here but then the actual road is over there i've always wondered why google can't just use the satellite image to like make those two things come together but different point for a different time um no different than the river between new york and new jersey i never crossed the thing <laughs> that's a good point yeah it's uh they just say seven dollars and you can cross this anytime you want and you're like i'm better i'm, I'm better over here um I've always, I've always thought that is interesting about, like, uh, it's the same thing, any city that is built on, like, a, a border between, like, jurisdictions like that. So, again, the most famous example of this is New York. For whatever reason, New York City, if I click it, it will show me the five boroughs, which is these, these four places that are actually New York, and then this place, which for some reason calls itself New York, Staten Island. But this place clearly should be a part of that area. If you're going to include this, you'd include this. But even if you weren't going to include this, the, the, if you look at uh, New York and then you look at, uh, you know, Jersey City and Hoboken, it's like, this is clearly New York. This is, everything about this yells New York, but it's like, well, there's a river. So it's like a jurisdiction boundary. And so few people do cross it. If you look at the subway system um, as an example of this, uh, oh, it has an MTA little logo there. If you look at the subway system, it all caters towards the east. Nothing goes to the west. There's one train here and one train there. Deal with it otherwise. There's one interstate tunnel apparently too. There's an interstate tunnel. Well, that's interesting. I think I went through this by accident. I was trying to work out how to get to the airport. Let me for a very weird size. The China side always, uh, almost always has a settlement of some sort. And the Russian side is almost always wilderness. That's true in general for... Uh, I, when, if you look at anywhere in Russia, zoom onto a random point. Find the person. Find the people. You can't. I don't know why satellite imagery gets so bad in Russia. Like, what? what is this? Why is this so bad? How do we make this better? <laughs> I actually do wonder, why is that the case? How do, how do they make... Oh, it's because uh, this is satellite imagery. I, I've, I've covered this, actually. It's a, it's a really interesting problem that you need local images to go with the satellite ones. You assume that Google is one big satellite image because it kind of tries to sell it that way. But as you get closer and closer to somewhere like Cardiff, it changes the data, and so once the satellite gets unreliable enough, it starts being, this is from Airbus, apparently. And then once you get even closer, you get someone else. And so now you can zoom in with relative detail. Um, and then, you obviously, once you go really far in, you get a car that's on the ground. Ah, Alafana. Alanfa. <laughs> anyway, um... It is, uh, it's fairly late at night. I've got one day left of important stuff to do in the UK. If you're curious, I'm going to be streaming on a, a different channel tomorrow. But uh, for today, um, also in China, you can find traditional pizza toppings like ham, corn, and cheese. WTF corn. Should we go on a little adventure? Let's go to a pizza. Let's, let's go look at pizza in China. Let's, let's decide for ourselves, shall we? So I've been to Shanghai before, but I've never been to Beijing. So that would be where I'd be going for pizza. Uh, just because there's always flights to Beijing. They're cheap because it's really hard to go to Beijing. So I'm just going to find pizza. Um, what pizza do they have here? Uh, we got Pizza Hut. That's good. That's It's well rated. 4.3 stars. We got Pinky Pizza. We got... Uh, I mean, it must be good. It's, that pizza does look very good, to be fair. We got the Pizza Company. Unpretentious Italian-American Eats. I don't know. There's no reviews on it, though. I mean, can you trust no review pizza? Does anything in China have reviews? I guess, yeah, the locals aren't going to be reviewing the stuff. Oh, that's hard. How how do you know, internet? Um, how, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll go to pizzahut.com.cn. Um, well, this is, this is, this is, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like reading, it's like I'm reading Chinese or something. I, I just cannot, I, I, there is, there's got to be a language on here somewhere. Maybe that's language. And we'll go to E. That's got to be English, right? No, no. I think that's an item on their menu. I guess I'll take it. Um, I, it's zero, it's zero yuan. And it looks pretty fine. Oh, yeah. This is, it's, it's all Chinese to me. I agree. This, okay. So let's, uh, I can't even find a search function, honestly. Uh, I'll just, I'll hit the buttons until I get the memorabilia. So they started in 2007. That's useful to know. Um, 
And that's it's zero it's zero yuan for this. Useful to know also. Um so we'll try this one next. Okay, that's the promotion again. And then we'll try this one. Oh, that's useful. It's telling me about the Chinese pizza hut near me. Where's this one? Um, um Okay, so they've got they've got one in the middle of China, but then they've also got one in Beijing over here, I think. That's what they're trying. Okay, so I found locations. This is sign in and then thank you. Do they have a loyalty program or uh, this is the promotion again? <laughs> How is that multiple tabs? <laughs> and then what is this? Oh, franchise. Ah, I can make my own pizza hut in China. Oh, it's Yum Restaurants. It's the China Auto Translate. Um, how do you not have a translate web extension? Yeah, it usually is a, um, almost every website will automatically translate. For some reason, Chinese never does. Um, so interesting. So we could click all the other links, but you know what? We're going to have to conclude the pizza is probably good in China and they're trying to keep us, they're trying to keep it from us. They're, 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 they're keeping it low key so that we don't know. And I, I know what they're up to. I, 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 you know, I don't actually know what they're up to, but I am going to, oh, let's look around some, uh, let's look around some random Beijing spots. This is nice. You ever want to go to Beijing and look at the subways or you ever want to go to Beijing and look at the, oh, this is, this is the red, this is the, not the red square. This is the square. This is where everyone is in China. People always, people always there. It's so big. Why is it so big? What is it called? It's, um, is this Tiananmen? This can't be Tiananmen. If this was Tiananmen, you'd see a lot more. I, I'm, oh, it is Tiananmen Square. Oh, so go here and, you know, just don't protest anything, I guess. Uh, the square that is, <laughs> nothing happened here. So yeah, this is, this is the very not famous square. Nothing has happened here of any import. Do not look it up. Um, don't look up Chinese red don't don't look up Tiananmen Square because nothing happened here everything's fine everything has always been fine and you might get fined if you look it up though just a warning just you know don't don't be doing that to yourself uh, because it's <laughs> this is so interesting to me there's a little is this like a little food stand it's nice anyway I uh is this a 5g tap no it's just a, it's just a bunch of lights and cameras okay they're very they're very paranoid that something might happen here for the first time, but nothing has happened here before. And that's what matters. Anyway, um, it's 10.36 p.m. in the UK. I have things to do to be very loose. I hope you enjoyed your internet experience and I'll see you. Yeah, if, you, if there's, there's no video, there's no photograph evidence of anything bad happening here. Um, however, unrelatedly, um, I really like when girls wear tank tops. And so you could describe me, you know, as a, as someone of the opposite gender to girls in tank tops. You could describe me broadly as a tank man, you know, to just abbreviate down. I would be tank man. And so if I were to go to Tiananmen Square, that is what you could call me while I was in Tiananmen Square. Obviously, not that I would be going there and not that you would describe me that way, nor... Look it up. But anyway, that said, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, slash stream. Slash however, you know, you get to consume this however you want. If you want to consume this as a short, you, 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 we, we'll make that work for you. You want to consume this as a interactive experience, then just, uh, you know, we'll work it all out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll, I've got a couple of videos planned while I'm gone. And uh, the goal is to be like weekly on this channel through 2024. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, have a good day.